Like I say, now more than ever, we have to stand tall. We have to stand up and fight for what is right. Every violation of our charters of liberty that's going on right now, Article 1, Article uh, 4, different clauses in our charters of liberty that our federal government is sanctioning to allow this invasion, like I say, if that's not treason, I don't know what treason is, we are our leaders. So for you all to be standing up and saying, you know what, enough is enough. We're not going to take it anymore. We're going to take our country back. You are Texans. You're the epicenter of this. Thank you so much for being the activists, for being the hardworking, independent, patriotic Americans that you are. This is my wife. I scream. I know a babe when I see one. All right. She was a citizen, and she was questioning the mayor's failures. And she didn't just question the mayor's failure, she took him on and she became the mayor. We the people taking charge based on the self-evident truth of the Constitution. Duh! That's right. And then she found that the governor wasn't performing his constitutional duties. So she challenged him, he didn't respond adequately, so she became governor! Sarah Palin didn't invent the middle finger, but she perfected it. Get back into absolute constitutional America. And if somebody's running for office that wants your vote, ask them, do you think I need a permit or a license or any man's authorization to have a gun in my belt? And if they hesitate, do not vote for them. That's the tip of the spear. If another man thinks he can tell me where, if, how, or what with I can defend my life, that is a bad, bad, evil man on the side of Joe Biden. I get to keep and I get to bear. Keep means it's mine, you can't have it. Bear means I got a couple on me right now and they're loaded. And no man has any say so in that. No man. Constitutional carry. What other kind of carry is there? What we did in Louisiana last month, we got absolute conservatives elected because we we scolded those who didn't vote to vote their conscience. God, family, country, constitution, bill of rights, ten commandments, rule right. the world, law and order, self-defense. If you stand up for that and put pressure on your elected employees, this will be America again someday. God bless you all. Thank you for being here. We are here to bring attention to the fact that the the unfettered, the uncontrolled border invasion, and it is an invasion, that is is first. Texas is the microcosm. Texas is taking the full brunt of, of this uh, affront to the economy, to the people's lives, of where your your life is is expected to be able to produce. Your, you know, continuing your livelihood for your family security, etc. I've heard stories, story after story on that. So we want to bring attention to that and we want to pray for the peaceful resolution to that. Because in my Christian faith, we also have an obligation to care for these, you know, these immigrants. They've come here. They're here now. And there's some way we need to accommodate that, those needs. Because in reality, most of those people, and these are the people I have gone all over the world and fought in their cultures, been in those cultures fighting other you know, conflicts. And those people eventually are going to get around to the idea of unrealized expectations. And that's going to result in a violent, you know, response. Uh, Takeourborderback.com is the, is the website. The website was developed for this. And you'll find a pretty explicit and detailed account of what we did on the, the route. Um, and essentially very, you know, clearly adhering to the principles, the ideals of the, that we're going to pray, we're going to be a people of faith just to be able to relate to all factors involved here. The egregious violation of the human dignity, these children and these women that have been violated, that have come to this country by the MS-13, we have to do something about addressing those things that these people are now suffering under too. So that, that, that to me is a major aspect of why we need to, to 
it, it's drawn a lot of attention. You guys are here. We never would have got the chance to meet if it hadn't been for the fact that we pulled up here in our in the RV parking lot. Uh, plans are just to interact with the guys that were that are the main coordinators of this to go down to Clamato and to uh, to visit with the lady who's offered her ranch, the, the children's ranch down there, that has uh, been previously ministering to children's needs that are essentially orphans. Uh, and see if we can't support her in a variety of ways because we're going to put funds towards her operation to see if we can't enrich her opportunity to be able to continue to do that business. Yeah, but what about the border? Isn't that the main thing? No, you see, see, we see ourselves as a spiritual influence. We call this a spiritual battle. And literally, there is far, if you read the Bible, you'll find that the Jews were, were uh, and had to encounter this many times in their armies and dealing with, with the, their enemies. And God would tell them, you know, no, I'll take care of that. You take care of the business of relating to me. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take care of the business of relating to the, to the God that has the ability to influence the outcome of nation's history happened over and over and over again and 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 that is our truly our resolve here we're going to stay that course and just be kind to one another love one another as we're called to do um, and i do love that i, I love that because it gives me energy it gives me a lot of energy to be able to do that 